Hey, what's up guys? Sister Sensor here. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do your classic burn victim horror style makeup. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your hair is tied back because you will be using either liquid latex or maybe even spirit gum if you're allergic. And that stuff is such a pain if you get it in your hair. It's bad. Like avoid eyebrows, avoid eyelashes, avoid your hair. It's just not good. Um, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take either your favorite primer or a light skin moisturizer or something like that and kind of just prime your face a little bit kind of as almost like a little bit of a skin protectant make sure that's completely dry before you begin all right the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a little bit of liquid latex and we're going to use some toilet paper and pretty much you're going to apply that to wherever you want it to look like you were all burned up all right so what you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of toilet paper and a paintbrush and some liquid latex, which I have poured out onto a paper plate. Just be very, very careful, because if this stuff gets on your clothes, it's not going to come off either. So just be careful. Either wear a smock or an old shirt you don't care about and just go at it. So what I'm going to do first, so I'm going to start on my cheek and just kind of paint the toilet paper onto my face. This also works too if you want to do like some form of zombie skin. Just make sure you really saturate the paper. And make sure it looks extra gross. You can always layer more toilet paper and more latex on as you go. And just keep applying until you are satisfied. Also, be sure you use a paintbrush or a makeup brush you either don't care about or that you know you can get the latex off. Or even if you want, you can use a sponge. Sponges work well, too. Just kind of keep doing this until you are happy with it. Alright, let me get this done and I'll see you in a sec. Alright guys, so what you're going to do is you're just going to keep playing with it until you feel like you got the right texture. Definitely. What I like to do sometimes is take the other end of my brushes and just kind of poke holes or little indents in where you put the latex in the toilet paper because I feel like it adds a little something to the texture because, you know, burns are never really nice if they're bad enough. Well, I mean, they're never really nice to begin with, but they look very textured a lot of the time, especially if you're trying to go for something like a chemical burn or just like a really, really terrible burn to begin with. Just kind of go like that. You could definitely do more or less of your face or other parts of your body depending on what you want to do. But yeah. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do after you're happy with it is you're going to let it dry. Just don't touch it. Try not to move your face too much and just let it dry. You could use a blow dryer to help it dry. Right now I don't happen to have one handy. So Okay, so what you're going to do, once it's completely dry and you got your texture right, you can even take it and kind of poke some holes in it with your fingers once it's dry and kind of stuck to your skin to get that right texture in it, get it a little bit of a 3D effect almost, so to speak. Then you're going to take your paintbrush, right? You could get it from any craft store. I got mine, I think, from Joann's, I want to say. It was like a big multi-pack. It wasn't expensive at all. Um, and you're just going to take, you know, your grease paint, because, you know, Party City Rocks are this type of stuff, especially at this time of year. Or Spirit Halloween, depending on where you go or what you have available to you. You can even get it at some Kmarts and stuff like that. You know, some mass chains. You're going to take the flesh tone color and just kind of go over what you've done. You know, you don't have to paint it completely, but kind of just go over it to get some of the flesh tones in there. Because when latex dries, it dries to like a whitish yellow shade. And, you know, it doesn't look as natural or as realistic if you just kind of paint blood over it and call it a day. Let's see. Just kind of rub it in. It doesn't have to be perfect because you got to remember the human body is a little weird and it's not going to look fantastic if it actually went through something like this. paint over the majority of it with the flesh tone color. You can always kind of blend it out into the skin. 
I highly recommend using a wider brush for something like this just so you can cover the most area in the least amount of time. Just go like this, paint over it, watch your hair. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't perfectly match your skin tone because the way skin reacts when it's burned is it does change colors. But you definitely want to try to blend the edges into the skin. So, kind of just go like that. Go around your area. Like so. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take another brush of sorts and just kind of go in with a little bit of red. Let's use red. I like red. And just kind of dab it into there. You don't have to go super, super crazy and try to get every single piece covered because once you actually add some blood to it and other colors, it's gonna work out. I promise. Just kind of dab it into some spaces. Try to cover any white spots you may or may not have. You could dab a little bit around the outside area as well because you're gonna kind of blend them together when you get to that point. You know, maybe add a little bit to your lips and around like so. Alright. Now I just kind of look weird. Now I look like I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright. What you're gonna do after that is kind of darken it up. You can use a little stipple sponge, which actually works really great for this, but if you don't have one handy, a little brush like this will work as well. You're going to go in, you're going to take a brown color like this, just dab that in there, kind of darken it up. And just dab it around. Get some where you haven't had it before and Go like that. Alright. Then just kind of wipe off your brush a little bit. And I would go in with maybe a smaller brush. This one will do just fine. Anything like a normal size paintbrush. And just go in to places that maybe you made some indents in. Let's see, like there. Just kind of... If you have to feel around a little bit because it does get a little bit difficult to find these spots sometimes. Let's kind of dab some of that around. Go like so. Then I would go back to your little sponge thing, take a little bit of that, a little bit of red, just kind of go around the eye area. Kind of just take it and blend outwards. Because you gotta remember, it's a burn, so it's not gonna look like it has perfectly neat edges but you kind of want to make it look as realistic as possible, so you have to blend, 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 blend. This is the key rule to everything, guys. Just blend. If you're unsure about it, blend it out. Like so. And as you can see, it's starting to kind of come along. Um, what I would do next is I like to take a little bit of purple. You know, also grease paint because, let's face it, it's just easy. Maybe just go around in the eye area a little bit to give it kind of like... You know, anytime trauma kind of happens to the eye area, I feel like it naturally turns a little purplish. Just kind of darken that up. You know, you can kind of go in in certain spots. You can also use your finger and just take a little bit more brown to accent some places that you feel like maybe there's just not enough color there or whatever and just kind of blend. Okay. You're done with that. Now it's time for my favorite part. You all got, all you guys know what time it is. It's definitely, definitely, definitely blood time. All right, you can use either spray blood or 
you know, whatever, vampire blood, prop blood. I like to mix them. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take another one of my sponges. I'm going to put the blood on the sponge. And dab that around. This particular type of blood tends to be a lighter color once you get it on. So that's why I tend to use two different types, where the spray blood that I have, which you've seen from my previous video, is a bit darker. Just kind of dab it on there. Try to get any colors you haven't really had. You know, any spots you may have missed. Try to fill it in with this as best you can. Don't be afraid to kind of paint it over your skin a little. Next, what I'm going to do is just take the spray blood, because we all know the sprayer is absolute trash, and take a paintbrush and just kind of dip it in there and put it on. If you want to, you could definitely take a little bit of your black makeup, black grease paint, and mix it in with it so this way it's kind of even darker and just build it up until you are satisfied. If you want to make spots that are like oozing a little. Here's a closer look if you guys want. <laughs> All right guys, once you're done and you feel like you're pretty happy with it, then you know, then you're done. Once you're done toying with it and you feel like you got it all gross and disgusting and your edges are okay, you're ready to go out or do what you gotta do, whatever you're planning on doing with this makeup. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.